reverence to reading the word of the Lord. I invite the church to stand up in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 10. Proverbs 10, 22. Proverbs 10, 22. Sometimes we speak of, about this verse, but I mentioned you know. Proverbs 10, 22 says the following. Let us read in Portuguese. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with, with it. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. We say, the blessing of the Lord make, makes one rich. The blessing of the Lord is what makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. The church may be seated. Let us sing, let us hear a song. Eu não estou vendo o pastor. Pastor número 11?
Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord is what enriches. It adds no pain to us. This verse from the Bible is in the book of Proverbs. And it's not here by chance. The book of Proverbs, like the Psalms, like the Songs of Solomon and Ecclesiastes, they were written by Solomon. And in what he didn't fa fail, he is the type of the Holy Spirit. And tonight, the advice of the Lord is the, uh, the advice of the Holy Spirit to each one of us. And the advice of the Holy Spirit for you and for, not, for me is that the blessing of the Lord is what enriches and he the Lord does not add pains the blessing has a fundamental role in the life of the people of God in the arrival of the Jews the Hebrews in the life of the Israelis from the beginning when you begin to read the word of the Lord, <coughs> you begin to see the concern and the, the Hebrews, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they had a great concern with it, with the blessing of the Lord. And when God had a meeting with Abram, God spoke with Abram and said, I will bless those who will bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. So at, at the beginning, the beginning of the call, the Lord was already saying to Abram that he, the Lord, was going to bless him. He would enrich him. And this riches comes from the Lord would not add any harm and suffering to Abraham. And then we see within the children of Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. Everybody know this the story of these two brad brothers. Esau rejected the blessing of the Lord. And Jacob, who didn't have the blessing of the Lord, he didn't have the right of the firstborn. He sought the blessing of the Lord for his life. And when Esau lost the blessing of the Lord, because Jacob, he went before the father, and the father blessed him. And when Jacob left, Isaac, Esau entered into the presence of the father. And the, the father didn't have any blessing left to give him. The Bible says that Esau, he um, lifted up his voice and cried bitterly. He cried because now he didn't have the blessing of the Lord, the blessing of the Father over his life. And what was left for him, the pain, the anguish, the sadness, the crying, the affliction, and the lament. When Jacob, he went to meet with his brother Esau, the Bible describes that an angel came to fight with him and they spent the entire night fighting. And uh, in the dawn of the day, they want, the angel wanted to leave 
And Jacob remembered one thing. I need the blessing of God upon my life. And then he held on to the angel and said, you're not going to leave this place until you bless me. And there's even a song that says, I need a blessing and I'll not give up. I'm not going to leave this place. My brother and sister, don't leave this place. Don't leave this location without the blessing of the Lord upon your life. When Jacob met with Esau, the dialogue was interesting because Esau, he came and said to Jacob, Jacob, my, Jacob, my brother, I have enough. It is interesting. Esau came to his brother Jacob and said, Jacob, I have enough. And my brother and sister, who, you who are here in the service of glorification to the Lord, do you know what was the answer of his brother Jacob, to, uh, to, uh, the answer of Jacob to his brother Esau? He came and said, Receive a blessing for my part because you, you have enough. But I, Jacob, I have everything. And that's the difference. And of having enough and having of everything. Maybe you have come to the house of the Lord and you're telling yourself, oh, I have enough, my brother and sister. You and I, you have enough, we have enough for this life. But the blessing of the Lord is not only for this life. That's why Jacob came and said, I have a blessing of the Lord, I have everything. And later on, his descendant in Psalm 23 says, Nothing. I will, be not, I will not lack anything because the Lord is my shepherd. Leave this place with this shepherd. The shepherd is Jesus. He's not going to allow anything to be lacking in your house, anything in your life. Later on, When the people of God was in Egypt, the ten, there were ten plagues. But we're going to summarize it only. Uh, when we speak only about the last two, the plague of dar darkness. For three days, the whole Egypt was in darkness, because the blessing of the Lord was not upon Egypt. But the Bible says that in the inhabitants of the Hebrews. There was light. It's so sad not to see the light. But the light was present in the inhabitants of the Hebrews. You, and do you know why? Because the blessing of the Lord over upon the life of each one of them. On the way, uh, on the path of three days, the people of God was not reached was not taken over by the army of Pharaoh because the blessing of God was upon them. The blessing of the Lord is what enriches us. It does not add on sorrow. And later on, God gives an instruction for Moses to teach the parents to bless their children. And it says, So I will bless the children of Israel. The Lord may bless you and protect you. May the Lord may shine His face upon you and have mercy on you. May the Lord upon you show His face and give you peace. 
The blessing of the Lord, my brother and sister, is what enriches. And about these riches that we are speaking about tonight, it's not riches just for this life, but a, 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 a riches for the entire eternity. And what is blessing? Blessing is a gift. It's a concession. It's something that we received from someone. And what is the greatest blessing that God can, be, give, can bless you with tonight in this place? The blessing of salvation. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We know that a cure is a blessing. A deliverance is a blessing. And a, a door of uh, a new job is a blessing. And many times in, ch in church we say, tell the blessing, my brother. And the brother would say, hey, the, the Lord did this. The, God, the Lord cured. He delivered. He opened the door of a new job. God did this and God did that. The youth also. Tell your blessing, my brother. And I, and he looks to her. My son is, is speaking about his blessing. He's about to get married. I have a co-worker. He's 20 years old. He always comes to me in the morning and says, Hey, man from Bahia, I'm rich. I'm a blessed man. And, and then I ask him, tell the blessing. And he says, my father is a blessing. He's my, ri my greatest riches is my father, mother, and my, my brothers and sisters, the family. The family is a blessing. The father and the mother, they are a blessing. Having a job, is a blessing. Having health is a blessing. But it is not everything. Maybe you have entered in this place with all of those blessings. You have a, bless a family who is a blessing. You have a wife who is a blessing. You have a husband who is a blessing. You have a son who is a blessing. You have a sister-in-law, um, daughter-in-law who is a blessing. The father-in-law who is a blessing. <laughs> The mother-in-law, I can say that, she was a blessing in my life. And you can say, I don't need anything else. But you need. You only have enough. But you don't have everything. The brother doing the praise, where the children uh, sang, he said something. He said that, Sometimes you look to a person and it seems like everything is all right. But inside of the person's heart, in their mind, in their soul, there is something missing. And today in the car with my son, I was speaking about uh, a song of uh, an American singer. This song from this American singer, he was very famous here in the past. He was even considered the king. And this this American this famous American singer in one of his songs it says the following Help me to smile. I know that I cannot do this on my own. And after the words he says, Help me or in English how do you say it in English? Help me. The blessing of the Lord is what enriches. And He, the Lord, does not add sorrow. The Lord has shown tonight the situation of many people who are here. They are all 
in need of a single thing the blessing of the Lord upon their lives and the desire of the Lord my brother and sister is that you who are here visiting us tonight is to bless your house is to bless your life is to bless your family is to bless everything it's not a blessing that's an only enough for this life but it is a blessing that will last the entire eternity and what God is offering you tonight the concession of God the donation the gift of God is his love his grace his favor his mercy and it has a name which is above all names it is the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and it is with this blessing that God wants to bless you tonight with his own own son Jesus the Bible says that the son is an inheritance and the inheritance is always related to to something a riches a And the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is this inheritance for our lives. This riches that God wants to bring, enrich you with tonight. Because enrich means to make you rich. The blessing of the Lord that, that enriches, the blessing of the Lord that makes men rich, that makes men prosper, that it will increase and David with all his riches glory fame and power he will come and say I am poor and needy or in other words I he would say Lord I need to be enriched by you God and maybe you entered here tonight in need of this riches of this prosperity of this blessing of God upon your life sometimes the soul of man is very poor in great need and the book of Psalms has a verse that calls our attention greatly like the, the deer shouts in the hills is the same way my soul uh, desire for you the soul, our soul thirsts for the living God and this living God is speaking with you and I tonight he has a blessing for your life a blessing for your soul a blessing that can save you that can deliver you, can cure you and that can put you standing this is the blessing is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ he is here tonight to bless your life the Lord has shown in a spiritual gift that in the church here there was a lot of gold there was a lot of gold here because there was a great riches here and the riches were so great that everyone here could carry as much as they wanted and the riches would never extinguish and this riches is our Lord is our God our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that is given by God in abundance freely like it says in John 3 16 because love God loved the world in such a way that He sent His only begotten Son so that whoever believes in Him no, do not perish. It's not left in pain. It's not left in affliction. It's not left in anguish and suffering. It's not left under a judgment, a condemnation. It's not, do not die. 
the greatest riches that man can have is life. Every, uh, any person will give everything in order to live. And that's the life that has been offered to you in this house. It's given to you freely. It's the grace of God. It's the love of God to enrich your life and will it will not add any sorrow to you. Uh, but the Lord also has shown a, a situation, interesting situation for a person here. That person would pick up anything that that person wanted. The person would just leave afterwards. But when this person left, this person walked through a path that had no light. And then all the riches that this person had collected here tonight was stolen from that person. And this reminds me of a situation of Abram, where he rescued his um, nephew, Lot. And he goes to, to Jerusalem, Salem. And there he has a meeting with Melchizedek, the priest of the high, highest God, which is the type of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And there in that meeting with Melchizedek, the priest, he offers to Abram, bread and wine and blesses Abram. And after Abram has received this blessing from Melchizedek, the priest of the highest God, which is the type of Lord Jesus Christ, bread and wine, two things that he needed, bread, body, wine, the blood and sacrifice and the Holy Spirit. So when he leaves of the, the presence of Melchizedek comes the king of Sodom. The king of Sodom comes to Abram and says, Abram, you can take everything you want, the whole farm, everything is yours. Abram said one thing to the king, uh, king of Sodom. He said the following. Let me pick it up here so I don't make a mistake. I swear to you that from the string of hair or the belt of the shoe, I will never take anything from you. So that you, King of Sodom, may never say, I enriched Abraham. So Abraham rejected a gift from the King of Sodom. And, then you, and you know why? Because he knew, he wanted all the riches that he may ever possess would come from the Lord because the riches that come from the Lord you not add sorrows to it but the riches of the king of Sodom which is the type of the enemy of our souls the king of this world that comes to kill steal and destroy it was going to be to, to take the blessing of God from the life of his servants. Abram didn't accept the gift of the king of Sodom. And my brother, for you particularly, the Lord has blessed you tonight. Do not walk in the path of darkness because the king of Sodom, he will steal the blessing that the Lord has given to your life. The enemy of our soul, of ours, of my soul, he work in order for this Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, may not exist in your life anymore. If it is no longer exist in your life, it, it will be pain, it will be sorrow. Not only for this life, but for the entire eternity. But the advice of the Lord and for the Holy Spirit is to say that the blessing of God does not add sorrow. And He, the Lord, the blessing of the Lord, is what enriches. He, he does not allow uh, sorrows to be added to you. And the Lord also sh has shown a spiritual gift a woman. And for two times, he ha she has rejected the blessing of God. Twice, she has not accepted the plan of God, the word of God in her life and in her heart. And tonight, it was offered to her 
for the third time the blessing of the Lord, the project of God, the Word of God, and she then she finally decided to accept the blessing of God in her life and in her heart. And when she did that, she had was taken over by a great joy. And she said, wow, I wasted so much time. I wasted two other opportunities of being blessed by, by the Lord. But God will add, you complete what you have lost. And the Lord was showing that He was giving you the blessings, the two other opportunities that you had to be blessed by God. He's blessing you three times. It's the, the path of three days. Sometimes we have to walk through this path of three days. And on the third day, the Lord presented and said, Peace be with you. And the Lord has also shown in, in a third spiritual gift, a woman. She was suffering. She was solitary. She was sad, inhabiting in a place where there is no light. And she was guided to this place in order for her to find out this light. And the light of the Lord may shine upon her life and to show to her that God has a great blessing for her life the salvation of your soul. Amen. Let us sing a song. Oh.
Your name, Lord. Lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church will stand up. Hallelujah. We're going to have another glorification to the Lord that has blessed us. I want to praise your name. I want to praise you for your care towards our lives. We glorify because you have been faithful towards us, even though we don't deserve it have sustained us every day. We glorify for the eternity that is await us. We bless for everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless be your name, Lord. Hallelujah.
Aleluia. Aleluia. Glória to God. Aleluia. Louvado seja o nome do Senhor. Glória a Deus. Aleluia. Só a tua exigência, meu Pai. Aleluia. Glória a Deus. Glória to God. Glória a Deus. Aleluia. 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 May the Lord bless you. May the Lord shine His face upon you, have mercy on you. May the Lord show His face upon you and give you peace. And your name is say the, the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our good and eternal Father, and the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit be with the entire people of God now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. The service has come to its end. You who are here tonight, I want to say that you are welcome to this place. We have services here Wednesday at 8, Thursday at 8, Saturday at 7.30, Sunday at 10.30, Sunday at Uh, at night, another service of glorification of the Lord, and at 7.30. And you are invited to come back more times to this place. If you need a clarification regarding the word and spiritual gift that was that were given, we pray for your life, for your home, whatever your need might be. The brethren are here to give assistance and to pray for our life. You just need to raise your hand so that you may identify and the bread not going to be going towards each one of you. This person particularly regarding the blessing was given here. The people that were entering through the path of darkness, I want to tell you once again, my brother and sister, they're going back to the same path. The Lord brought you to the light and His desire that you remain walking in the light. If we walk in the light, like in the light that He is, we have fellowship with the brethren, and the blood of Jesus Christ purifies of every sin. Amen. If you desire prayer, just raise your hand. 